Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to set the configuration settings in the app.config file and how to access the connection string in the Windows form. Start. And see here we got the output. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created a new Windows application. The project name is the connection string settings. Before adding the connection string settings in the app.config file, let's open the app.config file. And this is a basic app.config file settings. Now my aim is I want to add the connection string in this app.config file. Later I will access that connection string in this form 1 and bind the connection string with the data grid view control. Let's add the connection string in the app.config file. Open server explorer, right click the data connections, add connection and add the SQL server name. I'm selecting the database sample GP. Okay. And notice under data connections we got sample db dot db work connection string. I want the sample db data source connection string. Right click that one. Properties. Under connections, there is a connection string. Copy that one. Now switch to the app.config file. I'm adding connection string. Add name is equals to. I'm giving proper name to my connection string. My connection. Connection string. And here I'm pasting the connection string property. Which I have copied. And the last one is a provider name, which is a system dot data dot SQL client. That's it. We have added the connection string in the app.config file. Let's access this connection string in this form one. Press F7. It will open a code behind window. And here we are already have the system dot data. In order to access the connection string values from app.config, we need to import the namespace using system.configuration. Using system.data.sql client. And these namespaces for the SQL server. After adding the namespaces, in the public form one, after the initial component, string main com is equals to to access the connection string from the app.config file this one we need the configuration manager class and that class belongs to the configuration namespace configuration manager and notice and notice in the intelligence window we don't have the configuration manager class but we have added the system.configuration namespace in the coding the reason we are not getting the configuration manager class, we have not added the reference in this reference folder. I'm expanding that one. Notice there is no system.configuration. Let's add the system.configuration namespace. Right click the references, add references. See here the system.configuration. The version is 4.0. Copy that one. Okay. And notice the system.configuration is added under reference folder. Now we can able to access configuration manager dot connection string between square brackets double quotes between double quotes we need to add the connection string name 
which is my connection dot connection string this is a procedure to access the configuration settings from the app.config file now let's bind the database in the data grid view SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes the parameter main connection string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement for this demo purpose Go to my SQL Server database. I'm expanding the sample DB tables, the employee table. Right click that one, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this employee table. Now I want to bind this table into data grid view control. Switch to the coding part. Select start from the table name is dbo.employee. Copy the one and paste here. Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method. Data table dt is equal to new data table. SQL data adapter SDR is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes two parameters one is the select statement SQL query and the second one is a connection string object SQL con after that SGR.fill I'm filling the data with the data table object and the last one we need to bind the data into your data grid view control so let's add the data grid view control in form one in the design page let me expand this one go to toolbox expand the data folder data grid view control switch back to the coding part data grid view one which is a data grid view control id dot data source the data source with the dt and the last one i'm closing the connection string close method that's it let's check the results start see here we got the output in my next video i will show you the complete crude operation create delete and update